Hi, I'm Leanne from yourhomebasemom.com and today we are making slow cooker chicken fajitas and I can pretty much guarantee they're going to become one of your family's favorites. All we're going to do is put all the ingredients in the slow cooker, turn it on, and the dinner is ready when you are. I love to serve these chicken fajitas on a tortilla with a side of rice and beans, but they're also perfect to use to top a salad with. So let's get started. So the first thing we need to do is prep our peppers and onions. So we're gonna take a nice sharp knife and I'm gonna to use today a red pepper and a yellow pepper, but feel free to use an orange or green, whatever you have on hand or whatever your favorite is. First step is we're gonna take our knife and we're gonna slice off the top of the pepper, just like that. And then we're gonna slice off the bottom. I'm gonna take my knife, make it cut down the side and then open up the pepper. I'm gonna remove the core and cut off any of this white part that is left that's in there. Remove the seeds, ready to slice it. And I just like to take it, lay it flat, and slice nice thin pieces. Next, we're gonna prep our onion. I am using a yellow onion. You can use a white onion, a sweet onion, whatever your preference is. Take your knife and we're gonna cut off the end of the onion. Then we're going to cut our onion into just some nice thin slices. Go ahead and break them apart. You can cut them in half again if you want or not. I like to use about a half of an onion, but if you're a real onion lover, use the whole onion. Next, we're going to make our seasoning mix for our fajitas. Now, don't let the number of ingredients in here scare you, okay? These are probably all spices you already have in your spice cabinet. And it's gonna give the fajitas some amazing flavor. So we're gonna start with one tablespoon of chili powder. We're gonna use a teaspoon of cumin, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a half a teaspoon of oregano, and a half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Now, if smoked paprika is not something you have, you could use regular paprika, but I do prefer the flavor of the smoked paprika. We're gonna add in then a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and finally, a teaspoon and a half of salt. Then just take a spoon or a fork and mix it together, and it is ready to sprinkle over our chicken breasts. Now, we are gonna use some skinless, boneless chicken breasts. Um, usually I use about four, but today I'm using two because my chicken breasts were really large. This is about two pounds of chicken. So we're gonna take our seasoning mix and we are just going to sprinkle it over the top and the bottom of our chicken and just pat it in so that it's nice and covered. It's got great flavor, so you wanna make sure that you get it all over your chicken and then just flip them over and do it on the other side too. Okay, so these are ready to put into the slow cooker. The next part is we're going to mix together our liquid ingredients. And we're gonna use, again, some amazing flavors. We're gonna use three tablespoons of orange juice. And I am using some fresh squeezed orange juice. I had an orange on hand, but if all you have is some reconstituted orange juice, go ahead and use that. And I've also got in here two tablespoons of fresh lime juice. Again, if you have reconstituted, go ahead and use that. And then we're gonna add in four tablespoons of brown sugar. Mix that together. And next we're gonna add in some tomato paste. Now, if you haven't bought tomato paste in a tube, it's kind of life changing. I used to open a can of tomato paste and only use three tablespoons like we're gonna use today and throw the rest away. Now you don't have to do that. You can just squeeze out the amount you want. This is awesome. I think I got this one at Trader Joe's. So we're just gonna do three tablespoons of tomato paste. And then we're gonna do one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. I happen to have a coarse ground Dijon mustard on hand. You can use whatever, whatever kind you have. So just a tablespoon of mustard. And then we're gonna put in two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Again, I said there's all kinds of amazing flavors going on in these chicken fajitas. And then 
we're gonna put in some liquid smoke. Now, if liquid smoke isn't something you have on hand, I highly recommend you go pick some up. You can usually find it in the barbecue sauce aisle of the grocery store, and it smells like a campfire. Like you cooked this over a uh, over a real fire, so it gives some amazing flavor. So don't leave this one out. We're gonna add in one teaspoon of liquid smoke. It doesn't take much, just a little bit. All right, then our final two ingredients is one 15 ounce can of, I'm using petite diced tomatoes. You can use regular diced tomatoes and one four ounce can of diced mild green chilies. If you like a little bit more heat, go ahead and use a hot green chili instead. And then we mix it all up. All right, now we are ready to put everything into the crock pot and get it cooking. So I'm gonna take my two big chicken breasts and put them right into the bottom. I am going to take our tomato, green chili, brown sugar mixture, and that I'm just gonna kind of pour in and around it. I like to not pour it totally on top, but I guess I am pouring it on top, all right. Just pour it right over the top of the chicken breast, doesn't matter. Um, and then we're gonna put on our lid. Now we're not gonna put our peppers and onions in right now. We're gonna put those in at the last 30 minutes, okay? Cause we don't want them to get too overcooked or soft. So we're gonna add on our lid and we are gonna cook it either on high for three hours or low for five to six hours. So depending on when you want dinner ready and how much time you have, you can cook it one or the other. I find it cooks just as well high as it does low. So we'll be back and add in our peppers. Right, our chicken is ready to slice up. So we're gonna take off our lid. We are going to take the chicken out of the slow cooker and we are gonna slice it up. After our chicken's all sliced up, we're gonna put it back into the slow cooker. Stir it around to get all the juices covering of the chicken. And then we are going to add in our sliced peppers and onions. We're gonna put our lid back on and we are going to cook it for another 30 minutes on high or until our onions and peppers are the tenderness that we'd like. All right, our chicken fajitas are ready. And I love to serve them on a tortilla. Um, I'm gonna to link to some other recipes down below, a Mexican rice recipe that's delicious to serve them with, a, a black bean recipe. They smell amazing. Uh, the flavor and the smell that that liquid smoke gives them is so yummy. You're gonna have some liquid left in the bottom, which is totally fine. We're ready to serve them up. Get a little chicken, some peppers, some onions, and then you can roll it up and eat it as a burrito, however you want. We're gonna do a little taste test. We're gonna do a taste test. Mm. Delish. The peppers still have a little bit of crunch to them, which I love, but the meat is tender and juicy and so much flavor. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for these slow cooker chicken fajitas in the description down below. And be sure and check out some of my other slow cooker recipes here on YouTube. And as always, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel by clicking down below and turn on that little notification bell so that you'll be notified every time a new video drops here on YouTube.